The Access 2010 Projects web database template provides a quick way to start managing projects as well as the people and tasks associated with those projects. It's called a web database because it's designed to be compatible with the new web publishing feature of Access 2010. The Getting Started page is a great place to learn about the application and to get help. It's always available on the far right navigation tab, so I can come back to this page whenever I want. To get started, let's take a look at the Open Projects tab. I'll start off by just typing in the names of a couple of projects that I'm currently working on. I can also enter new projects by clicking New Project and then filling out the Project Details form. I'll fill in a customer. This customer is not yet in the database, so Access prompts me to enter her information. I'll click Yes and then fill out the Customer Details form. I can come back later and add more information. I can modify most of the drop-down lists in this form to suit my needs. I just click the Edit List Items button under the list, and then type in the list items I want. I can select one of these to be the default value for this list. I'll set some other values for this project, such as status, start date, and end date. If I have projects or documents that I want to attach to this project, I can double-click the Attachments field and then add the files I want. When I'm finished, I can click Save and New if I want to add another project. I'll just click Save and Close to save the one that I entered. Since I made changes to the category list, I need to save the form before closing it. The new project now appears in the project list. Double-clicking a project name opens the project details form, so I can edit data as needed. For this one, I'll set the category and a future start date. I'll scroll to the right so you can see some of the other fields in this datasheet. As you can see, the database keeps track of the date you last changed the project data, as well as the number of tasks for each project. Also under the Open Projects tab, I can click Tasks to view the individual tasks for each project. Just place the cursor in the datasheet, and then type in a task, and fill in any other information you have. I can also click New Task to open a task details form. I'll close this form and then click Project List. Now if I scroll to the right, I can see that the Conference Room project has two tasks, both of which are open and still need to be completed. These numbers update automatically as I add or complete tasks. Imagine that now some time has passed and now the conference room project is complete. I'll double click the project name to open the project details form. I'll set the status to completed, close the detail form, and then click refresh all. The project disappears from this list, but it's still in the database. I can click closed projects to see it and review any of its related tasks. This way I can keep a history of all my completed projects. The Users tab provides a simple way to enter and edit users of the database. Remember that any people that I want to list as project owners must be in this list. The Customers tab provides a similar interface to add new customers. I can just type in the datasheet, or I can click New Customer and fill out the customer details form. The picture icon is actually an attachment field which I can use to attach pictures or documents related to this person. Now let's take a look at the Report Center. The projects template includes eight reports to get started with. 
To preview a report, just click the report name and it appears in the preview window. To open the report for printing, click Open in New Tab and then use the print command on the File tab. When I'm finished, I click Close to close the report and return to the Report Center. All Access 2010 web database templates are designed to be compatible with the Publish to Access Services feature. My team uses a SharePoint server that is running Access Services, so I can use this feature to publish the project's template to the server. Then my team can use the application through a standard web browser without needing access installed on their computers. I can also instantiate the template directly from the server. On the SharePoint site, I click Create, and then Projects Web Database. I type a title and URL, and then click Create. Access creates the database on the server, after which I can open it in Access for further modification.